welcome to this video where we are going to show you how to import a STL file into Fusion 360 so you can make modifications. So this is very handy in case say you found something on Thingiverse or you designed something in Tinkercad and you want access to a lot of the tools that are found in Fusion 360. So to begin on the top toolbar here, we're going to go to insert and we are going to insert a mesh. Now the mesh we are going to insert is our STL file. So this is something that I made in Tinkercad and I just want to polish by adding a couple fillets and just making it look a little better. So immediately we get a pop-up, we have to assign a unit type and you can also alter the position however you would like. So this is, as I mentioned, something I designed. We're gonna add some fillets and to do that, we need to turn this into a 3D object. So to begin to do that on our cube on the left hand side, if you right click, we are going to hit do not capture design history. So everything beforehand and from this point forward will not be recorded, which is fine with us, no issue. Now on the bodies folder, you can select your mesh, select your overall STL file, and on the toolbar, there's a little tab called Mesh right here. You're gonna click on it, and under Modify, you are going to hit that drop down, and you are going to choose Convert Mesh. Now there's two different methods, and this depends on whether you have the personal or hobbyist license, which is free, or the paid subscription license. So if you are using a free version, you are only going to have access to the faceted method. If you pay, however, you are going to have access to the prismatic conversion. And this, in my opinion, is the better of the two. What it will do, essentially, is for example, in my model right here, you see this face is broken up into a bunch of triangles. What that is going to do is automatically combine those triangles to give you a single face. And I'll show you why that's so advantageous here very shortly. So I'm using the personal license, so I do not have access to that right now. But if you do, I strongly encourage you to use it. And if not, we're gonna stick with the faceted and it still does a good job, does not take long. Now what this has done is taken your mesh, taken your STL file, and now we have a 3D solid design of that STL file. So now when we look at all the solid tools within Fusion 360, we have access to them all, which is why now I can go and add a fillet. So one nice thing about Fusion 360, if there are multiple of these triangles on the same plane, you can select a couple of them and when you hit the delete key, it will automatically combine all of those, which is really nice because now, for example, I wanna add a fillet. I'm gonna choose that top edge. I will put a, let's do a three millimeter fillet on there. And so we can see that at least in my opinion, this left side with this fillet looks a lot more polished, a lot nicer than this right side that has that hard edge. And so I'm able to put fillets around here and just polish my design up. Now one thing I do want to mention is because we had to use the faceted method, when I want to go right here and maybe put a fillet on this rounded portion of my design, I'm gonna have to manually select a lot of these little triangles, which not only is this more manual and more time consuming, but it runs into an issue of resolution where say we have these, I hit delete, and so now I have a couple faces here, but when you look at up top, well, I just lost some resolution. I don't have that nice curved shape anymore because I have these ridges. Now possibly you could go in here and select only a couple of these faces and hit delete, but then now you still have to select all of these edges and fill them individually. And even then, to be honest, 
Sometimes it really just does not look good like this. It just doesn't look good. But this is a free version. You can't complain for a free version, especially with how good Fusion 360 is. But something to notice depending on what and how you are modifying your designs. So that is how you bring in an STL file into Fusion 360 so you can make modifications. At this point, you make your changes, you can export as a STL file again, and you are now ready to 3D print your design. So I hope this is very valuable to you. I hope uh, this just comes in handy. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment below. I'll be glad to help. Best of luck, and we will see you in the next video.